You walk into a room and immediately forget why you're there. You stare at the wall like it's holding the answer, retrace your steps, and maybe even blame it on your phone. Welcome to the midlife brain glitch, a phase where the mind suddenly feels like it's buffering. It's not early dementia, and you're not broken. In fact, what's happening is surprisingly normal. Your brain isn't failing you. It's reorganizing itself. It's trying to clean the closet, and you just happen to be inside when it's doing it. Try this. Next time you blank out, laugh at it literally. Humor diffuses stress and signals your brain that you're safe, which actually improves recall. Now that we're comfortable admitting that midlife forgetfulness happens, let's talk about the multitasking myth. Remember when you could juggle 10 browser tabs, make dinner, and text your friends without missing a beat? Now two open tabs feel like a traffic jam. That's not incompetence. That's evolution. As the brain ages, it stops wasting energy, processing unnecessary noise. You might think you're losing focus, but what's really happening is a recalibration of attention. The midlife brain is becoming a curator, not a collector. It's choosing what deserves bandwidth. Try this. Protect your focus. Close a tab. Finish one thing. Then move on. Your brain will reward you with more clarity. Let's zoom in for a moment literally into your head. What's actually happening in there when you forget a name or can't find your keys? Inside your brain, the hippocampus, which helps store and retrieve memories, is quietly working overtime. The prefrontal cortex, your decision-making and focus center, is under constant pressure from stress hormones like cortisol and dopamine, that reward chemical that helps motivation and recall, becomes a bit stingier with age. Throw in poor sleep, hormonal shifts, and a never-ending to-do list, and your memory feels like a browser with 47 tabs open. But here's the thing. Your brain isn't declining so much as rebalancing. Older brains prune weaker connections to make stronger ones more efficient. That's why you might forget your neighbor's dog's name, but remember the punchline of a joke from 10 years ago. The architecture is changing, not collapsing. The good news? You can strengthen it. Quality sleep, light exercise, and mental novelty learning something new. Even small act like reboot buttons for neural circuits. Try this. Learn one new thing this week that scares you a little. Your hippocampus will thank you. That brings us to the paradox of forgetting. Maybe your brain isn't losing information, it's choosing what to ignore. Midlife brings cognitive triage. You're not supposed to remember every password, every detail, or every song lyric. Your mind is prioritizing what's meaningful. Think of it as spring cleaning for cognition. Forgetting what doesn't matter means your brain is finally filtering in your favor. This process is actually called selective optimization, where the brain preserves energy for higher value thinking. Try this. Next time you forget something small, ask, did that really matter? Often, the answer is no. Still, there's that fog, that slow, heavy sense of mental static that rolls in when you're trying to do something simple. You open an email and forget what you meant to say halfway through. You reread the same line three times and still don't remember it. That's not stupidity. That's fatigue. Cortisol, your stress hormone, has likely been on a slow drip for years, wearing down your mental breaks. Add sleep deprivation caffeine dependence, and constant digital stimulation. And you've got a perfect recipe for cognitive smog. Decision fatigue is real. Your brain can only make so many choices before it needs a break. Midlife amplifies this because responsibilities expand, but recovery time doesn't. The fix isn't working harder, it's rest. Strategic rest, though not mindless scrolling, but genuine recovery. Short walks, quiet minutes, mindful boredom. Your brain detoxes during stillness, not stimulation. Try this. Schedule blank time on your calendar. No agenda, no guilt. Just 15 minutes for your brain to breathe. Here's the plot twist most people miss. Your midlife brain might actually be smarter than ever. It's just slower at showing it. While your recall speed may dip, your crystallized intelligence, wisdom, intuition, pattern recognition peaks. You might not remember every fact, but you're better at connecting the dots between them. This is why seasoned professionals often solve problems faster, even if they think slower. It's precision over speed. Like an experienced chef who no longer measures ingredients, you just know what works. Try this. Don't rush your thoughts. Let them marinate. The answer will be richer when it comes. So, let's talk about training this changing brain without turning it into a self-improvement marathon. The key lies in neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire itself. Even in midlife, neurons can form new connections when challenged with novelty. Think of it like muscle growth for your mind. The more variety you give it, languages, instruments, puzzles, social interaction, the more it adapts. But here's the secret ingredient. Emotion. The brain learns best when it cares. That's why forced learning feels pointless but passionate learning sticks. Layering habits helps too. 
Pair a new skill with something familiar, like listening to an audiobook while walking. It's cognitive cross-training. And don't underestimate mindfulness. Calm minds form stronger neural connections because stress hormones aren't eroding the wiring. Try this. Pick one new micro-skill, something you can improve by 1% each day. Watch how it changes your mental texture over time. And finally, let's zoom out. The real midlife glow-up isn't in your skin, it's in your synapses. Forgetting, slowing down, reprioritizing all of it is your brain's way of reorganizing for the second half of your life. You're pruning old connections to make room for creative reinvention. The mental chaos you feel is actually growth disguised as confusion. It's a software update running quietly in the background. Don't fight it. Celebrate it. Try this. Treat every moment of forgetfulness as proof that you're still evolving because you are. Your midlife brain isn't broken. It's building something new, wiser, sharper, and more intentional than ever. If you enjoyed this and want to keep exploring the strange brilliance of your own mind, stick around, subscribe, and let's keep decoding the human experience together.